Product not yet rated. Sega. G'day, my name is Dan Leftonen, and I'm a designer for the Creative Assembly Brisbane. I'm going to take you through a video preview of the Crusades campaign, one of the four brand new campaigns in Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms. The Crusades campaign recreates the epic struggle for power in the Holy Land between Christendom and Islam. Beginning in the year 1174, just before the Third Crusade, the campaign challenges you to take command of the Crusader states on their quest to control the Holy Land, or lead the defenders of Islam as they seek to drive out the infidels. You can play out the campaign as one of five factions, with alliances and wars already on the boil, to promote team-based play and a fast-paced campaign. The Crusader states of the Kingdom of Jerusalem and the Principality of Antioch are united against the Islamic faction. The Turks and the Egyptians. The Byzantium Empire, meanwhile, is a shadow of its former self and must work with the Crusader states early on to avoid further Turkish incursions. But they must be wary of the land hungry Crusaders. Each faction has its foundations in a key province, marked by a power centre settlement. These power centres must be held at all costs. They are crucial to overall victory and if held, provide their faction with unique, powerful units. They are also home to mysterious and powerful relics that can significantly boost a general's skills and traits. Each faction in the campaign also has an inspirational hero, each of whom has a unique ability that can be used to turn the tide of battle. If used wisely, these heroes can lead their faction to greater glory or save them from bitter defeat. As an example, the Third Crusade sees the arrival of Richard the Lionheart. Richard's ability, the Heart of the Lion, can be used to reinforce the morale of his entire army in battle, which will prove invaluable as the Kingdom of Jerusalem faces the likes of Salah al-Din and his mighty Egyptian forces. Keeping these heroes alive and utilising their special abilities strategically will be vital to success in the Crusades campaign. The campaign also has a vast array of powerful new units available to each faction. The Crusader states are reliant on the knightly orders for their strongest units, such as the Constable of Jerusalem and the mighty cannons of the Holy Sepulchre. The knightly orders will set up chapter houses, which make these unique units available for recruitment. Similarly, the Hashashin, a cult of deadly assassins, will provide new missions and rewards, including unique units to assist the Islamic factions. Meanwhile, the Byzantines are able to unlock the technology that hands them one of the most fearsome battlefield weapons, Greek fire. The Greek fire throwers are capable of dealing fiery death to any foe. Knights burn just as easily as peasants. Whichever faction you choose to command, you'll need all the strength that these powerful units and your heroes can provide in order to prevail. Even when you think victory is in the bag, the arrival of the Venetians in the Fourth Crusade and the invasion of the Mongol hordes will introduce new threats that must be dealt with before ultimate victory is yours. That concludes this preview of the Crusades campaign. Join us next time as we continue to guide you through the four new epic campaigns that make up Medieval 2 Total War Kingdom.